miss my Wednesday upload. Sorry about that, folks, but with holiday shipping, I'm going to cover do this and don't do this. <clears throat> so first off, today's December 3rd, 2020, and the first thing to do, first off, I've been with a major shipping company well over 30 years, and this year is especially different in respect to the fact that with everything going on health-wise, the trucks have been running wall-to-wall, -wall, ceiling to floor, front to back, and now we're into holiday peak. DOT only allows drivers a certain number of hours a day to deliver, and it's not always possible for the drivers within the allotted time to get everything delivered. That's the first problem. Second problem is we're in holiday peak. And the third problem is that drivers have gone down with the virus and driving the trucks is not a case where anybody can just jump in and go. There's a lot of computer stuff, telematics, etc etc so the one thing you do want to do is now not tomorrow not the day after tomorrow but now get any presents out that you want delivered don't be waiting till the last minute with if you order by December 22nd we guarantee delivery because there's retailers who will do that. Order by deliver by December 22nd, blah, blah, and we guarantee delivery by the 25th. The retailers do not know the business the way we do, and the retailers should not be making such promises, considering everything I just told you. So that's what you should do today and not tomorrow again is get your stuff out to be delivered. What you don't do, even though it's popular and we see this quite a bit, is gee, I'll send work colleague or somebody out of town a nice bottle of booze. Don't do that. It is bootlegging. The state, county, and municipality that receives it is not collecting their taxes on the booze. And the worst that can happen is five years, quarter million dollars fine. And the best that can happen is that when it's caught, it's poured down the drain, so you are out. The cost of the booze plus the cost of the shipping, and no matter what you do, it's just sorry too bad. All that money, a person would be out. So don't do that. Don't believe, gee, I'll send some nice cigars to a person out of state. Same as the alcoholic beverages. That's bootlegging, severe penalties. The best that can happen, it gets caught and disposed of. So that's a bit of a background on what you should do. Do this now, but don't do this trying to send booze or tobacco products with the booze. Yes, there's Wine of the Month Club, and it's very comprehensive for the Wine of the Month Club to get authorization to ship, and they can ship direct to the consumer. But with tobacco, no, tobacco products are not permitted. So that's your holiday 2020 
shipping guide. And have a happy holiday. Appreciate you stopping by. Hope you stop back.